It's been a tradition for years to award every winner of the Super Bowl with their own custom ring. A lot of them have different variations. So I wanted to go through and I wanted to rank all of the Super Bowl rings, all 57, from worst to best. And it's going to be a very interesting list. I think that obviously there's weaker ones in the beginning, but as you guys will see as the list continues, it will get uh, a lot more clear. And it was really tough at the top. But uh, without further ado, here we go into it. Rank 57, it'll be Super Bowl 1. This will go to the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, you can see on the ring, very basic. You have the one diamond. There's a um, globe around it. And this was to signify that the teams had um, collided at this point. So that will be rank 57, very generic ring. Super Bowl 1, Green Bay Packers. If you're looking at rank 56, this is uh, Super Bowl 9 Pittsburgh, and I put this one here, very generic, it only has the one diamond, uh, just really not much to this ring, so I had to put it at rank 56. It, it's, it's a nice token, but it's just not a ring that belongs anywhere outside of where it is. At 55, we had Super Bowl VIII, the Miami Dolphins, and I just didn't see much of this ring either. You have the two basic diamonds. Just not a lot going on with it. You do have the uh, kind of turquoise background that matches the team's colors. But other than that, there really was not a lot to this ring overall. Um, this was the year after the undefeated season. Uh, at rank 54, we have Super Bowl II, the Green Bay Packers. There are three diamonds on there, and this actually commemorates... Uh, their third title in a row as they had won the NFL just championship game um, the year prior to the Super Bowl starting. So their, this, their second Super Bowl actually counted as their third championship in a row, but kind of a bland ring. Number 53, I have Super Bowl IV, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, 1969 Super Bowl ring. And you have a pretty nice football diamond in the middle and the red background, but at the end of the day, there's really not much to this ring. It's very basic. Looks like it's from its time, and there's not a whole lot going on with it. Uh, with Super Rank 52, we have Super Bowl three. This would be the New York Jets, and I think you know it's a decently creative ring for the time. You have the green in the background. You have the football diamond, but you know it's just a bit wider. I like. Um, I like the way that they carved this ring just within, you know, the era that it was put in. It's much nicer than the Green Bay Packers rings. So that's why it's at rank 52. At rank 51, we have the Baltimore Colts Super Bowl V championship ring. This ring was the first kind of to incorporate the logo. It was the first ring, actually, in NFL history to incorporate the logo. And I like how they were able to put that together. You have the blue sapphires on there. You have the uh, one big diamond in the middle which was a really nice touch. At rank 50, we had the Dallas Cowboys, Super Bowl VI, first ever ring. And I like this ring, you know, for the early rings, it's got the cowboy in the center, the big diamond, uh, just a really nice ring for the time period. It goes down to 50 just because obviously of the time period. I thought it was a pretty solid ring and it beats out definitely some of the old ones. At rank 49, we had Super Bowl VII. This is the undefeated Miami Dolphins team. And they actually have a diamond for around the ring for each of their, I believe, thir 14 wins that they had that year. And you also have the turquoise in the back and the diamond in the middle. Uh, this is much better than their second ring. This is a pretty solid ring. At 48, we have Super Bowl Eleven. the Raiders. A lot of people have this ring very highly ranked, and I'm not very sure why. Um... There's really just not much to it. You have the football diamond in the middle and you have the Oakland, it says Oakland Raiders, world champs. I get it, but it's just really not doing much for me. So that's why it's at rank 48. At 47, we have Super Bowl 10 Pittsburgh Steelers. Not a terrible ring, um, just very bland in a sense. You do have the Vince Lombardi trophy sitting there in the middle, but... If you look at it uh, with the two diamonds, there's just really not much going on in total with this ring. So that's why it's going to be at rank 47 on this list. And then you have at 46, Super Bowl 17, the Washington Redskins at the time. And this is not a terrible ring. It is pretty bland. 
You have the football shape in the middle. You have the red in the back. Um, you know, it just it, it gets kicks for me because obviously the logo is not there, but they would correct this in the future with different rings. Um, at number 45, we actually have Super Bowl 21, the New York Giants 1986 ring. Once again, not incorporating the team's logo or the secondary logo at all. You have the uh, Vince Lombardi trophy in the middle, but it just kind of looks like it it just doesn't really fit with the capability of the other rings. So that's why it had to go as low as it did. At 44, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers fourth ring of the 70s, and it's okay in a sense. It's got the four diamonds. Uh, commemorating the four uh, championships within the 70s. But once again, really not a lot to this ring in total. Uh, just not a lot on the sides either. So that's why it had to go at 44 on this list. At rank 43, we had San Francisco's Super Bowl 19 win. And I, I think it's a decently solid ring. Um, it kind of you know, incorporates the Lombardi trophies to commemorate that there's two in a row. But, you know, overall, once again, I do knock it because there's no logo on there. You don't really know, you know, what team it is. So then if you go to 42, we have Super Bowl 25, the New York football giants. And this ring, once again, very bland. You have no logo. This is the 1990 ring. You, it commemorates there that there were two Super Bowls in the middle, but it just looks really generic, really bland, and it just doesn't really seem like it should, you know, belong in its during its time period. And then if you go to rank 41, you have the 85 Chicago Bears, their one and only Super Bowl ring, and it's not a terrible ring by any sense of the imagination. Uh, they show the logo there. I just think a lot of this ring, what's holding it back is it's limited by its time period. But overall, it's a nice ring. I like the ring of diamonds around the Chicago Bears logo. It just unfortunately fall, fell to 41. At 40, probably the best of the 70s uh, Pittsburgh Steelers championship rings. I wish their fourth one would have taken some inspiration off this ring. As you had the logo there, you had the three diamonds commemorating the three championships. But you can tell just from looking at this and looking at the other ones that this was definitely the best ring the Steelers had made up to that point and probably passed it for a little bit until they got into their next 05 ring, of course. And then you go to the rank 39, Super Bowl 12, the Cowboys, their second Super Bowl. And I like this ring. You know, you got the diamonds behind it. It's big. You have the two logos commemorating two titles, not just two basic diamonds in the middle. So overall, it's a pretty solid ring, just limited by its time at that point. And then if you go to rank 38, we have Super Bowl 16, the 49ers. Once again, no logo on there. They have that old football um, uh design sitting there and it's just kind of basic for me and that's why it's going to go at 38 on this list and then if we're going to 37 we have the oakland raiders super bowl 15 championship ring commemorating the second super bowl and if you look at it once again pretty basic ring i do like it a lot more than their first one though it just there's a little bit more diamonds a little bit more pop to it it's looking a little bit better but it's nothing, it's nothing that special. That's why it's at rank 37. If we're going to 36, we have Super Bowl 22, the Washington Commanders. And I like the 1987 ring. You have the two Vince Lombardis there. I like the, how they were able to put sapphires. Obviously, still doesn't have a logo or a secondary logo on it, which kind of knocks it a little bit. But at the same time, you have it, it looks pretty solid. It looks pretty solid. At rank 35, you have Super Bowl 37, actually, and this is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers ring. And once again, I have to knock it because there's no logo there. It's just a big Vince Lombardi trophy. You have the football on the back, but very bland ring. This could be anybody's ring if you don't read the context. If you were looking at it from far away, you wouldn't even know it's Tampa Bay. So that's why it's going to go at 35. At rank 34, we have Super Bowl 23, the San Francisco 39ers commemorating 
their third Super Bowl in a row, as you can see from the three Vince Lombardis. But as a common theme that will grow with the San Francisco 49ers, no logo on their ring, really limiting how good it can be. But overall, this one, not a terrible ring, uh, just doesn't have the logo. And then obviously their 33, their Super Bowl 29 ring at rank 33, commemorating their fifth title. It's a solid ring. The logo's on the side. They're getting better as it goes, but still, there's no logo on the front. It's a pretty cool design, though, I will say. They really did the Vince Lombardi trophy really well, especially with all those fives. That's why it's at rank 33. If we're going to go to rank 32, this is going to be the Raiders. Third Super Bowl, Super Bowl 18. And I like, this is probably the strongest of their rings. I like how they incorporated the three diamonds, three footballs. Obviously, there's no logo, but still, they incorporate the black and silver so well with it that you can tell it's definitely the Raiders Super Bowl ring. And I like what they did with the side. That's very creative, especially for the time period. That's why it's at 32. Rank 31, this is the Super Bowl 34 Rams ring, and obviously a lot going on here. You do have the Rams spelled out in the front, and the Vince Lombardi. I like the hint of gold to it. At this point in the rankings, a lot of these rings are very close, so it's very difficult. This could go higher, but this is where I ended up putting it at this point. It's a solid ring, though. And then if we go to rank 30, we have Super Bowl 30, the Dallas Cowboys, and just a nice ring. I like the, I really like the gold on it. The Cowboys logo in the middle looks really good. I think this ring is a really good looker. Um, has a lot of good qualities. I like how the gold and the white and the diamonds balance off each other. Um, that's why it's sitting at 30. If we go to uh, rank 30, 29, Super Bowl 31, you have the Green Bay Packers. And I like how it's all gold. The G pops out, which is really nice. And then you have the world champions written there. Diamonds all around the Green Bay Packers G. Uh, it's a pretty solid ring. It would be higher if there wasn't just so many good rings. But that's where it's going to go for now. If we go to rank 28, you have the Denver Broncos first ring. Really like this ring. Very, very solid as it has the logo of the Denver Bronco in the middle. And like I said, I would like to put it higher, but there's just so many good rings out there. But they do really well with the gold. They do really good with the coloring, really good with the logo. And that's why it's going to go where it's going to go. If we go to rank 27, we have New England's second Super Bowl ring, probably the weakest of all of their rings, just in my opinion. They, they all, all their rings are pretty solid. But if I had to pick a weakest one, it would probably be this one. Uh... The logo is pretty small in the middle, not a lot going on, but it is a pretty solid ring, just showing off the two Lombardis. It's a wide ring, probably the widest ring at the time. Then if we go to Super Bowl, we go to rank 26, you have the 49ers Super Bowl 24, their fourth ring, and I don't know, I just, I just thought that this one was a little bit better than the fifth one that they had, and you know, it could be a toss up there. But, you know, I just, I like the way that the gold and the, uh, and the compliments, the diamonds in the middle, I think it's a good aesthetically looking ring. If we go to 25, you have Super Bowl 27, the Cowboys. And, you know, I really like the side on here because it obviously shows the rose of the Rose Bowl. Really solid. You have the Cowboys logo in the middle. A lot of diamonds behind it. Just a really solid ring, in my opinion. It's their first one of like kind of the newer era, and that's why it's going where it's going. If you go to 24, this is going to be Super Bowl 28, another Cowboys ring. And this one, this is a really nice ring, really capturing those four Super Bowls they have at the time. You have the gold complementing the diamonds in the middle once again, and it just looks really good the way that they put it together. That hint of blue in the back. It really exceeds at that point. If we go to rank 23 at this point, we have Super Bowl 42 with the New York Giants. It's an okay Super Bowl. They finally, the New York Giants finally incorporate that logo there. It's a little too silver for me. I would have liked them to put some sapphires in there. But overall, it's not a bad ring, especially 
they get a little bit of style points because they were able to incorporate that New York sign. But it's going to go at rank 23. At rank 22, we have the Super Bowl 33 Denver Broncos. This is a really cool ring because it shows the two Broncos back to back. There's a lot of people that have this one ranked a lot higher in their books. And I just felt that there were rings in front of it that were better, but it, it deserves to be pretty high, and that's why it's a 22. Super Bowl 21, I really like this ring. Super Bowl 26, Washington. They hadn't done this in previous rings. I like the hint of the secondary um, logo that they put there. I thought that was a great addition to the ring. Just if you look at it, the diamonds, it was really put together well. This is their 1991 ring, and that's why it's so high up with the newer rings. Rank 20, we have the New York Giants uh, Super Bowl 46 ring. As you can see, the four Vince Lombardi trophies commemorating their, the franchise's fourth title. You brought in the blue sapphires that I critiqued the other ring on. You have that New York Giants logo in the middle. Overall, they corrected everything that needed to be corrected. If you go to Super, if we go to rank 19, you have the Colts Super Bowl 41 ring. Really solid ring. You have the Colts logo in the middle. You have the Vince Lombardi trophy up top at that point and all the diamonds in the back. Overall, just a solid ring if you're looking at it. Uh, you know, not one of the top, not a top 10 consideration, but it is a solid ring in my opinion. I like how they just pop the logo. If we go to rank 18, you have the Steelers Super Bowl 40 ring, and I think this is a really Nice ring, definitely the best one so far of the Steelers. You're showing the five Lombardis, you're putting sapphires in at the Steelers logo. You're really making that nice logo known on the ring. Uh, you have rings on the side, there's hints of gold. I think they did a really good job with this Super Bowl 40 ring. And then if we go to rank 17, we have Super Bowl 39, New England Patriots. This was their third championship. And I think that this one is actually pretty nice. It's a step up from the uh, previous one where they won their second. And I just think that uh, it's really wide ring. You have the three Lombardis. The logo could use some work, but overall, just the, I like how they did the world champs on the side. That was a really good addition to it. And I think it's pretty solid. If we go to rank 16, you have Super Bowl 36 New England Patriots. Probably the strongest of their first dynasty uh, in the early 2000s. Just really showing off that logo. Diamonds behind it. You can tell whose team it is. They do a really good job of incorporating that. And, you know, it's it's fairly uh, older ring at this point, And it still, you know, kind of holds up, which is a big fact to its ranking. Rank 15 is going to be the Super Bowl 45 Green Bay Packers ring. And I really like this ring. Obviously, the Green Bay Packers G pops out again. You have that green hint of green in the background. The four diamonds showing off their four championships is a really good touch. And I just, I overall really like this ring. Really can't complain. It's, I would like to put it higher up, but there's just so many good ones. And that's why it's at rank 15. If we go to rank 14, we have Super Bowl 35, the Baltimore Ravens. And this is a really nice ring. As you can tell, it's kind of got that Patriots effect, but they do it better. You have that sapphire on the Ravens uh, on the Ravens logo's eye. Really nice. You can tell whose ring it is. The gold complements the purple and the, and the uh, silver really well in this ring. Really kind of above its time, and that's why it's at rank 14. If we go to rank 13, we have... Super Bowl 44, which is the New Orleans Saints Super Bowl, and this is a really nice ring as well. You have the gold and the silver really popping out that logo. I like how on teams' first rings, they really emphasize the logo, and this just did a great job at it, and that's why it's at rank 13 on this list. We're heading to rank 12, a fairly newer ring. We have the Kansas City Super Bowl 54 ring. Really nice ring showing the two titles. You have the gold, you have the uh, sapphires in the middle, you have the Kansas City logo. It's really solid and you know you could put this higher on your list and it wouldn't be that big of a problem. But this is the point where all the rings are really good and it's really tough to pick and choose at this point. If we go to number 11, we have the New England Patriots fourth ring. It's the start of their new three-peat dynasty. And this ring, they do the logo better, they do the ring style better. 
they really make an improvement on what they were trying to do on their second and third Super Bowl ring. And I think they did a really good job with their fourth one. That's why it's at 11. Ranked 10, surprisingly, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl 55 ring, showing their second. I like it a lot, but like I said, there's a lot of tough rings at this time. But the top does pop off on this ring. You have that lot of gold. You have the Tampa Bay logo fixing the mistake from their previous ring. And I think they just do a really good job of um, really putting that gold and just centering the logo really well. At rank number nine, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl 43 ring. This is a great ring, guys. If you look at it, you have the Sapphires. You're showing the six titles. The gold, once again, complements everything really well on it. Uh, the sides, as you can see, it stacks the Vince Lombardi trophies. This ring is just overall really solid and easily the best of all the Pittsburgh Steelers rings. Then if we go to rank eight, we have Super Bowl 47, the Ravens 2012, and... I really like what they did with this. They found a way to one-up their previous ring. They do the second one well. As you can tell, the logo is there in the middle. You have that purple just complementing that silver. They didn't even need to put gold in. It was still really good. This ring is a home run, uh, and they're pretty much two for two on making good rings as both of them are solid. Then if we go to rank number seven, we have the Patriots' fifth Super Bowl title, Super Bowl 51. And this one, they kind of went back to their original style, but with the Super Bowl II and Super Bowl III ring, but they found a way to um, incorporate a bigger logo in there, which overall just makes it a much better and more solid ring from side to side. And that's why it's at rank number seven. If we're heading to rank number six, we have the newest of the rings, the uh, Super Bowl 57 Kansas City Chiefs ring, as you can tell, it shows the three rings. The top also does pop off, so you can see the field. And I think that's a really cool, you know, factor in new rings. I think that they might change that at some point. I, I can't tell yet how much I like that at this point, but I think it works really well on this ring. And then if we go to the top five, we have the Super Bowl 52 Eagles ring. Really, really nice ring. Uh, they do a perfect job of commemorating that it's their first Super Bowl. The big Vince Lombardi in the back. You have the eagle looking really good in the diamonds. The green in the back. World champions up there. Just a really solid ring. This ring kind of threw it back to the basics. And I like that about it. They're not trying to do too much, but they do just enough. At rank number four, you have the Super Bowl 50 ring. I just really like the Denver Broncos rings. You have so much colors to work with. They got the blue in there, you have the orange, and then it was Super Bowl 50 too, so you're able to put that on the ring, which is actually really cool. And they were able to incorporate that in kind of a gold fashion, which just made the ring overall, you know, add some points to it. And they commemorated that it was their third Super Bowl on there too, which was really nice. Super Bowl, rank number three is Super Bowl 48, the Seattle Seahawks. What a ring, uh, probably one of the best first rings I've ever seen. If you look at it, you have that green sapphire on the Seahawk. They just do the logo so well. You have the blue sapphires on the side. This is just a, overall a really, really solid ring. And it, like I said, it's one of the best first rings ever. Not the best, though, as you will see in a moment. As we go to rank number two, which is the Los Angeles Rams Super Bowl 56 ring. What a ring this is. Top off also pops off of this, but I really like how they incorporated the stadium on the side of it, as you can see, and just... The jeweler on this did a really good job. You have the sapphires, you have the palm trees signifying they're back in California. And it's just really, really nice ring. And you know, it's technically not their first, but for the city of California, the city of Los Angeles, it is their first. And then rank number one, this ring just does it perfectly. All the complaints that I had with the New England Patriots first, uh, second and third rings, showing how many more titles they had. This one blows them out of the water. You actually made it a, they actually were able to make it a ring form and you're able to show the commemoration of all six of the Super Bowls. And that is going to wrap up this list.